makes you so sick at heart that you can't take part. You can't even passively take part. Ladies and gentlemen, Omicron, the latest and scariest COVID variant thus identified, has appeared in South Africa. Should we be scared? Well, uh, we don't know yet. But early information suggests that this variant could potentially be worse than Delta. So let's look at the WHO statement first and see what this is all about. So uh, it was first reported in South Africa on 24 November 2021, so barely two days ago. And it's already been designated a variant of concern, which is unbelievable because none of the previous variants had been de given that designation so quickly. It usually takes weeks, if not months, before they designate it as such. Variant of concern is the uh, top tier of, of, of COVID variants in terms of how potentially dangerous they could be. Uh, the, the lower one is variant of interest, and the, there's a lower category, variant under, under management, something like that. Uh, but yeah, variant of concern is, you know, is top tier stuff. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to read this because I'm going to show a chart that describes this better. Uh, the variant has a large number of mutations, some of which are concerning. So I've read that it has something like 50 mutations overall, of which 32 are in the spike protein alone. And that is much more than Delta has. Um, preliminary evidence suggests that uh, increased risk of reinfection with this variant as compared with other VOCs. The number of cases of this variant appears to be increasing in almost all provinces in South Africa. Current uh, PCR diagnostics continue to detect this variant. This is a good thing. That means it could be easily tracked. Um, yeah. So there are studies underway, of course. And well, so here's the thing. So first of all, what is what do these uh, ca uh, categories mean? So uh, a variant of interest is one where the genetic changes that are predicted or known to affect the virus characteristics such as transmissibility, disease severity, immune escape, diagnostic or therapeutic escape, and identified as causing a significant community transmission or multiple COVID clusters in multiple countries. Uh, however, variant of concern includes all of that, plus some uh, demonstrable increase in transmissibility or detrimental change in COVID-19 epidemiology or increase in virulence, or change in clinical disease presentation, or decrease in effectiveness of public health and social measures, uh, including, of course, vaccines. So what makes it worrying? It could be more transmissible. It could escape detection. Uh, that is, uh, it could escape vaccines. Or it could be deadlier, raise the risk of severe illness or death. Do we know if any of these variants, uh, any of these uh, mutations cause, you know, definitively cause any of this? The answer is no. I think the reason that it's being put as a variant of concern is because there appears to be some demonstrable increase in transmissibility. I'm going to show a chart to show you just how uh, bad it is. But uh, we still have no evidence of any of these other two. And insofar as it does not significantly affect either of these two conditions, uh, it's probably safe to say that it won't be significantly worse than Delta. Remember, Delta is, you know, by, by the standards of, of infectious diseases, pretty much a nightmare virus, uh, just in, uh, in terms of its transmissibility, which is, you know, among the most transmissible infectious disease that you will find on this planet. So if uh, Omicron e beats Delta, at transmission, you know, this is in yeah, nightmare levels. Uh, but even then, uh, oh, now in terms of escaping vaccine uh, efficient efficacy, well, Delta was kind of, well, there was, there was a merciful aspect about Delta, which is uh, the vaccines were not as good as preventing transmission as they were against some of the earlier variants, like the uh, ancestral strain or alpha. But uh, they were pretty effective at preventing serious illness and death. And ultimately, that's kind of the most important thing. So insofar as the vaccines can still be effective at preventing serious illness and deaths, I think even if it turns out that Omicron is uh, able to evade 
uh, transmission, you know, uh, sort of like how Delta does, then I think we're still kind of sorted. Uh, I still think that we will probably in the next couple of years need uh, some tweaks to those vaccines to make, uh, you know, to focus on, on transmission. Uh, or, you know, if we have, uh, really, it's not going to be the vaccine that's going to end the pandemic. Uh, and I think that has been clear now for quite some time. Uh, really, I think a, a combination of vaccination plus an effective treatment, which does appear to be on the horizon. There are various treatments now that are seen to be very, very effective. Um, so it will it will come a time when uh, we might have just some pills stashed in our in our uh, in our medicine cabinet, and if we get COVID, we'll just take those pills and we'll be fine, and we'll get maybe a booster shot every year, every two years, God knows. Uh, that is really how the pandemic is going to end. But in the meantime, should we be worried? Uh, yes. Now, why should we perhaps not be? We we should worry, but perhaps we shouldn't alarm ourselves that much. So this is the. These are the variants that the WHO has uh, recorded as variants of concern, and there's only five of them so far. Uh, first was Alpha. That was the one that was detected in Britain in late 2020 uh, and spread pretty quickly uh, at the time. It was the main cause of Britain's second wave. Uh, then we have Delta. And that would also came from South Africa, and there were a lot of, you know, there was there was some alarm at the time over over whether it would, you know, spread worldwide. But apparently, it didn't. It was uh, it was mostly limited regionally. Then we have gamma, which was the one that appeared in Brazil, and also caused a lot of havoc in uh, in places like Manaus. Uh, gamma broadly spread across parts of South America, but it didn't really take off from there. Um, so it was kind of confined regionally. Um, you know, even Mexico, that is somewhat close to South America, uh, never really got a huge uh, number of, of, of gamma cases. So uh, then we have Delta. And because Delta is so transmissible, it's why it became the dominant strain worldwide. It was just easy for it to turn all the other variants obsolete uh, upon arrival. And well... Omicron remains to be seen, but just just I, I just wanted to show this chart to make sure that uh, people realize that just because it is labeled a variant of concern does not necessarily mean that it will become a dominant strain worldwide or that it is necessarily more deadly than previous ones. But uh, the risk is there. Now, I want to show you some tweets from Tulio de Oliveira. He is the director of the Center for Epidemic Response and Innovation in South Africa. I don't know if he's the South African Dr. Fauci. Uh, I, I don't know. But uh, he did a press conference yesterday, and these tweets have, have gotten some, uh, some traction on Twitter, so I'm just going to read some of them. Busy day, a variant of great concern. The world should provide support to South Africa and, and Africa, not discriminate or isolate it. By protecting and supporting it, we will protect the world. A plea for billionaires. Hmm. I don't think they're going to listen and financial institutions. So, uh, <clears throat> yeah. So, uh, <clears throat> sorry, on the whole, uh, there's, there's not like a huge spike <clears throat> in cases in South Africa. So it's been kind of a regionalized outbreak, but on the whole, it still hasn't like caused havoc across South Africa. The main concern is of course, once analyzing the virus, realizing how, just how many mutations it has, and um, and this is the chart that I really like because this one shows how variants end up dominating other variants. So we have this is the the, the proportion of cases in South Africa that have been identified, and so you know at the beginning we had the ancestral strain here, uh, that's the gray bit, and then from from mid twenty twenty like summer of twenty twenty well winter over there, uh, you had the beta variant. That was the, the one that emerged in South Africa. And it quickly became the dominant one in the space of, of a couple of months. And Alpha came along as well, but not really much, I suspect. You know, there's a lot of travel between South Africa and, and Britain, so I'm pretty sure that uh, British travelers brought it along. Uh, well, British or South African travelers brought it along. 
Um, but then Delta hit, and Delta just absolutely swamped Alpha and Beta, because obviously it's just more transmissible. So ended up dominating almost the entirety. Then there was this other variant that I guess was was perhaps concerning at the time, C12. Uh, I don't know if it got a name or not. I, I guess not. And now we have this one, U11529. It was originally labeled uh, new yesterday, uh, but now it's been officially named Omicron. But you can see here just how insane this has been. Like insane, just absolutely dominates now over over three quarters, I would presume, of cases in South Africa are now being identified as as Omicron, and that is that is scary. That is scary because it's it's done in just a matter in in less than a month, what took even Delta months to achieve. So again, put this into context. There's far fewer cases right now. Uh, remember, this is this is a graph of, of uh, this is just the shares. It's not the total number. There's very, very few cases right now relative to previous spikes. But uh, still, the speed is is alarming, very alarming. Uh, yeah. So again, the good thing is that it can be detected by PCR. So that that is that is good. Uh, now this is the tweet that I think was just a bit stupid, to be honest. Uh, I would, I would like to plead to all billionaires in this world: Elon Musk, Bill Gates, Jeff Bezos, Dr. Pat Chun Shiong, don't know who he is, Warren Buffett, to support Africa and South Africa financially to control and extinguish variants by protecting its poor and oppressed population. We will protect the world. Do you think they will give a shit? Come on, man. Come on. They do not give a shit. Bill Gates is single-handedly responsible for the fact that we don't have an open source vaccine available for any country to manufacture it. Thanks, you Bill Gates. Bill Gates. Uh, Elon Musk does not give a damn. He tweeted in 2018 that he was going to solve the Flint water crisis. Guess what? He didn't do anything. They don't care. They care more about their stupid little space races and making penis-shaped spaceship that's what they want that is that is all they don't care elon musk does not give a shit about COVID. does not give a shit you know his treatment of his employees his complete disdain for any kind of lockdown measures back back uh, in the day he doesn't care he doesn't care he's not going to move a finger uh, and you know i don't think he cares about his his home country either so there you go and jeff bezos of course he won't care either this is just this is stupid. This is really cringe. I don't know why he why he bothered. But uh yeah. Um and and uh, most of the comments have been also kind of pointing out how stupid this is. But uh yeah. Still, aside from that, I still think this is a, a pretty interesting tweet. I'm going to copy it in the uh in the description below, uh especially if anyone wants to Take a look at the more the more technical things like uh, the mutations. Uh, I don't understand any of this. I'm not an epidemiologist, uh, so if anyone finds this interesting, cool. Uh, yeah, uh, how have countries responded? Well, England. I say England because uh, England and Scotland have different uh, different travel rules. Um, yeah, England has put South Africa, Botswana. Is Watini, Lesotho, Namibia, and Zimbabwe on the red list? Of course. Uh, whenever a variant appears in like a black or brown country, immediately red list. If this had come out in Norway, they probably would have waited uh, months, if at all. But um, will this help? I'm not sure. I, I don't think. If it's as transmissible as Delta, uh, no amount of travel restrictions will help you. It will spread. And that's the reason why... You know, countries like New Zealand have basically given up their zero COVID policies because they know it's just too transmissible. There's no way. Even if a, even if one person just slips through the cracks and manages to, to get it spread, that's it. You won't stop it anymore. So why bother? Um, really, this is, you know, we have to get used to the fact that we're going to live with this disease. Um, we will, you know, hopefully 
hopefully the vaccines will still work. Hopefully we can reinforce them every so often with a booster. Hopefully we will have treatments that will be affordable and that people can take uh, if they get sick. But uh, we have to get used to the fact that we will be catching this virus at some point. Um, you know, if you haven't caught it already, we probably will again. But uh, in the meantime, we do know that vaccines work. We do know that they help reduce severe illness and death, even if they're not that effective at transmission. And that is why we should get vaccinated. Um, you know, if we catch it and we're, we're not vaccinated, uh, just, just Google people who have been in hospitals uh, and, and, and regret not taking the vaccine. But, uh, you know, for the rest of us, those of us who, who do care about our health, do care about not swamping hospitals, uh, you know, take the vaccine. Just, you know, it's a, it's a manageable disease for both of us who, who, uh, who are relatively healthy, relatively young. Um, but still, this is, this is nasty. This is, you, you just never know how your body could react to this. So don't take your chances. Please get vaccinated. And as for worrying for this new variant, uh, yeah, we should be a bit worried. But again, we, we should not be over alarmed. Um, you know, as long as the vaccines work, we should be okay. So there you go. Uh, if you like this video, please like, please share. Most importantly, please subscribe. And I will see you next time.